A Jones County nonprofit that supports veterans will be getting a financial boost this week. Sugar Fire Smokehouse is donating a portion of its Thursday profits to a grassroots effort that started 11 years ago. In this week's Show You Care Spotlight, KCRG TV9's Brian Tavik tells us about the group's work to make sure no veteran is ever forgotten. In a small storefront on Main Street, Nanamosa, <laughs> the nonprofit Teufel Hund has helped hundreds of veterans and veterans organizations under the leadership of Bruce Barton, also known as Skipper. That was my rank when I retired. Skipper started the nonprofit in August of 2012. He wanted to make sure veterans could navigate getting back into civilian life and support them any way they could, while also supporting the veterans groups. And the government has improved substantially the programs that are available, but it's hard to navigate to find them, so we were trying to help with that. It's an experience he says he knows all too well, having served in Vietnam. It was the 60s, nobody liked the war, and, you know, and everybody was hating everybody, and it was just a really bad time. Now, people actually appreciate the veterans. People walk up and say, thank you for your service, as opposed to walking up and spitting on you. So. It has changed substantially, yet the trauma isn't alleviated by that thank you for your service. In the last decade, he says the number of veterans they serve has only continued to grow, and so the number of people coming to help the cause, like Jared Sticks Bell, who got on board in 2021. Basically, once I heard what the mission was with helping vets, I was all in. I, you know, within two weeks, I was starting the process to become a member. As the nonprofit continues to grow, the message has remained the same, just like the building where they work. When you see us, let us help. If you know a veteran, tell them we can, we can come, they can come to us. We can be there to help them. In Anamosa, Brian Tabbitt, KCRG TV9 News.